go. Let's see, it looks like something's in the way. That's in the way. There you go. Can you guys see that? Let's see. Let me try to get this squared around a little more. There you go. How are you guys doing today? Ah, welcome to my late night live. I'm just going to focus on some simple finger fitness that I said would be easy to remember. Easy to remember. So, the three I always like to start off with. Uh, fold, tap, and push. It's pretty simple. Fold your fingers. Tap your fingers. And push back and forth. Folding, tapping, and pushing. Now, if you can just remember those three. Folding. And just kind of go real slow. Just kind of get in a nice groove on your own. Tapping your fingers. And when you tap, try not to separate your wrist so much as your fingers, okay? And then the last one is just push back and forth. <clears throat> now, these are what I think of as the, the fundamental movements. They're kind of like the foundation of finger fitness, the fundamental movements. And those are three. What you want to do once you are focused on a certain movement, you then want to think about trying to isolate that movement. That, that really helps develop your strength, mainly your coordination and limberness, I think, on these three. So, fold your fingers, tap your fingers, push back and forth. Now, just one at a time. Ready? Come on, you guys, try this. Fold your fingers. We'll just stay on the first movement for a, for a few seconds here. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna let you enjoy the great wall of hands as we just, let's just fold down our fingers one at a time. And when you first start to do this, you really wanna do this nice and slow. That's the main thing. You want to do this nice and slow. This develops coordination. Finger independence. I started doing this back in the 70s to help me play, play keyboards better. You know, it's so important. I was getting a degree in music education. You've got to be able to isolate those individual movements or, you know, different pairs, like two at a time. Every other finger, that's, that's pretty hard right there. And that's what, <clears throat> that's what finger fitness is about, isolating these fundamental movements. So back to fold your fingers. We're just folding one at a time. Now, I want you to try to fold two at a time. The first two and the last two. If you just joined us, this is the Great Wall of Hands. I call it the Hand Command Center. Just showing you guys just a couple simple little finger fitness exercises. Okay, so this, these are the this is double isolation. First two, and the last two. Now let's try the outside fingers like this. Check this out. I started doing these exercises back in the 70s to help me play musical instruments better. Now the outside fingers, the inside fingers. I better slow down for you, right? How are you guys doing today? What's happening out there? Folding, folding, back and forth. Now check this out. Every other finger. See how that looks? You 
folding every other finger. Fold back and forth. Then on the other side, folding back and forth. Now the folds. Let's go over the, the three <clears throat> the three positions. The breakdown. The double isolation breakdown. First two and the last two. Outside and the inside. Every other. See how that works? First two. Last two. Outside. In wait, wait a second. I'm sitting here thinking about it, but I'll let me try this again. First two. Last two. Outside. Inside. Every other. I usually don't do it in that order. That's not a good excuse, though, is it? First two, last two, outside, inside, every. That's the doubles. I started doing these back in the 70s to help me play musical instruments better. I have a degree in music education. I came out with my first book in 1988. It was called... I think it's backwards. Hey, can you read backwards? That would be great. Um, it doesn't really matter because you can see it's it's full of pictures. It really is. It's kind of like a picture book. And you just go through the different positions. And it is available at handhealth.com. That's my website, handhealth.com. Finger Fitness, The Art of Finger Control came out in 1988. And I have five videos that teach this from children to beginners, intermediate, and advanced. So let's get back. Folding your fingers. Tapping your fingers. Let's just go with those two. Break it down for the singles. When I started this off, I, I said, this is going to be finger fitness that you won't forget, hopefully. So get in the groove right now. Folding tapping and pushing. If you just got here, why don't you share this with some people? This is some kind of a cool late night stuff that can really help your hands right now. I'm going to lay it down to you again. It's not too late. Fold your fingers. Tap your fingers and push back and forth. See how that works? Why? This will help your coordination if you're a musician or a gamer, a magician, Kids with fine motor skills, your parents, it can help so many people. So put your hands together. Let's go. Fold, tap, push. Fold your fingers. Come on. Tap your fingers. Come on. Push back and forth. Actually, you should slow down. You're just getting in the hang of it. I'm, but I'm trying to show it to you so you're not going to fall asleep. Now, let's run an isolation down those three movements. This is where this is going to really help your hands. This can change your life right now. Check this out. Folding, tapping, pushing back and forth. See how that works? Fold, tap, push. Folding, tapping, pushing. Then you just go right down, just like that. Folding, tap. So for those of you who are just getting here, this is the Great Wall of Hands. My name is Greg Irwin. I've been trying to trying to lay down some basic finger fitness so you guys can improve your hands. You know, your hands. This is this is your tool that you interface into reality with. And the better your tool is, strength, limberness, coordination, most likely the better you're going to be able to interact with reality. Seriously. Here's, it's kind of a cool move. Let me see if I can just flip this down a little bit. Let's see if that works here. See how these are the same? 
Can you do that? If you can, if you can do that, say I got it. Who can do this? You got it. Can you do it? Now, up, down, to the middle, and out. Can you do it? Yeah, if you're a Glover, you might have seen this before. A lot of people, it's funny how they they might not know me now, but they watching that first video that I put put out. Originally, it was in 1988. See how that works? Now they're opposite to each other. I like that. Some of the new patterns I've been working on. So, <clears throat> there you go. I'm just going to end this session up here in just a minute or so. Just a, whoa, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. These cameramen, you got to watch them lately. They're coming in. Okay, here. Sorry, everybody. It's, I'm just kidding you. I'm standing straight. It's the camera. There you go, that's pretty good. All right, just a quick repeat. Fold your fingers, tap, push, then break it down one at a time. Write down all of your fingers. And you're at the Great Wall of Hands, and if you want more information, please go to my website called handhealth.com or handfitness.com, either one works. And you can check it all out there. Especially if you got kids, I really recommend finger fitness exercise dances for kids. Um, oh, I got a copy right over here. It's just a little bit of, it's a DVD, but it's also available as a download. Ten super fun, cool little dance, not little dances. Well, it is, it's dances for little hands. It's, it's a bunch of different colored gloves. <clears throat> Have you guys ever seen... Have you guys ever seen the metal balls that they use to exercise your hands with? A lot of people might have seen these. You're like, what, what the heck? What are these things? Well, you want to get a size that matches your hands. And this is uh, here. I'll give you a little quick demonstration here. What you want to do is you want to just roll them around in one direction, then the other direction, like this. I'll watch. I can, I'll do it where they don't touch at all. One way. And if you like what's going on, I appreciate it. Just uh, like or what do you have to do? Hit follow or share. It's, some of that stuff helps, I guess. I'm kind of new to this, you guys. You guys ever heard of this? If you if you have, can you type type it? You have or can you do this? So you want to start off with learning how to do this in both hands. If, if you're an athlete, my goodness, this is the thing for you. It sounds like something my grandmother would say. You know what? I'm going to pick up some, uh, the ones I really like. These just rock. They actually do really rock because they are rocks. I'm here to, it's one, two, three, four. It's my favorite time. One, two, three, four. Let's get going. If you're not here, it's 1234. That's what I was saying that for. Um, 
but the stone spheres rotating these around in your hands have so many benefits. Both directions. And that's really all you have to do to get the, the main benefits, I feel. What's this working? A lot of shadows in here. I don't know what's going on here with the shadows. Ah, so yeah, these are the, the main benefits though are just rotating these around your hands both directions. And it's it, it's amazing what they can do. But you gotta kinda pay attention. You know, like going on over here. If you get really good here, I I better make up for that. I'll show you that you can do a lot more with those when you start rolling them around your hands. Becomes, it becomes kind of a flow art at this point. It's so simple and basic, and once you get the feel for it, it, it does. It kind of feels like a like a chi. It's, it's a, like a meditation. It's like a, it's like watching gravity just work, just like flows, you know. Isn't that cool? If you think it's cool, can you say I think it's cool? That's what I'm always kind of thinking, you know, when I'm make, making these roll around, I'm thinking these sounds. Not really, I'm just kidding. Any questions so far? Any, any... Any musicians, any athletes here? If you guys missed it before, we were talking about folding your fingers and tapping your fingers. I want to keep making sure you guys got this. And if you, and if you really do want to get serious about it, check out my website, handfitness.com. It's going to be getting revamped soon and having a tremendous selection of fitness products for your hands, what I feel may be the best out there. So, I want to wish everybody a good night. Uh, thanks for hanging around. Thanks for checking everything out. And remember, take care of your hands because they will take care of you. You guys have a great night.